and we're live. Hey guys, I'm super excited to show you something really cool today, and that's how you can beat match your Granime 2 shells using a regular Speedmaster and a plugin that I just wrote, which is free for you to download. Talking about downloads, you see this little show file inside sticker right here on the background image and also in the thumbnail. Whenever you see that on a video, it means that the complete show file and other material is free for you to download in the link in the description. So make sure to check that out after the video. All right, before we get started, let's talk about beat matching. Beat matching is a technique that DJs use every day to align two tracks to be able to mix them together seamlessly. And the way this works is a two-step process. So first of all, they make sure to bring the tracks up to the same speed. And then in the second step, they actually slow down or speed up a track enough so that both tracks are aligned and then they can go into the mix. And before we get to Granime 2, I wanna show you how DJs would do that. And I'm gonna use Tractor Pro, which is a professional DJ software I use every single day. And what I did here already is load up two tracks. And as you can see, they are at two different tempos, one at 128 BPMs and one at 130. I didn't match them up at all, so let's listen to what that sounds like. So as you can hear, that's not what you want it to sound like. You want this to, you know, sound really nice and kind of feel um, like it belongs together. So again, the first step is to bring them up to the same speed, and in this case, this is very easy because it has these nice uh, little BPM displays up here. And what I just did is move the so-called pitch fader. It's essentially a Speedmaster, only DJs give it a slightly different name. Now let's listen to it again. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, what you should be able to tell now is that, you know, they don't drift out of sync anymore, but they're also not quite alive yet. So uh, here, what we're gonna do is use the second step in the beat matching process, and that's called pitch bending. It's again, a fancy term in a way that DJs use, and all it means is to slow down or speed up a track uh, to match another track's playback in a way. And I'm just gonna show you with the help of the pitch buttons and notice what happens to the sound. So you might be able to tell that whenever I use these pitch buttons, it actually makes the track go a little higher or a little lower in terms of its pitch, and that's why it's called pitch bending. So let's bring in our first track again and then use pitch bending in order to bring them in a sync to state. Alright, so if you just watch very carefully, what I did is I kind of shot over the goal just a little bit, um, only to slow it down slightly. So now we're in a pretty good sync state, and that's the two steps of beat matching. First, bring your two sources up to the same speed, and then use pitch bending to make them um, aligned. So let's bring up Grandma and show you what I prepared for today. So the show that I set up here is actually really simple. I have three chasers on the left and one effect, and they're all linked to this one master BPM speed master. And you can tell if I move this down a little bit, um, all these little playbacks go way slower. And now that it turned up, it's a lot faster. So you can see it works. Now, the first trick that I wanted to show you a little bit is that I set different speed multipliers on each of these playbacks. So if I just go to the options, you can see the speed column, and that's where I set up the master BPM, and then set the speed multiplier, in this case, to two. So the second one ran, runs as fast 
or it runs twice as fast as the first one, this one eight times as fast as the first one. And essentially what it does, since Speedmasters are in BPM, is that when you set it to two, this will play back based on half beats, this on 16th beats. And with the effect, I actually made it twice as slow as uh, this first chaser. And that means that this is operating based on two bars. Wait, that's half bar, two beats. All right. So with this little trick, you can already bring a little bit of variety into your beat-based shows. Um, that's a trick I just discovered and I think it's, it's really neat. Now let's beat match, shall we? Now first of all, um, let's bring up Tractor again and play track. We already know that this is playing at 128 BPMs, so that's going to make it a little easier for us. But what you would probably do in a live scenario is just use the learn button. So let's see what happens when I try to get this roughly to a good place. So you should be able to hear my audio and also my mouse clicks and I should be pretty on point but still the master BPM is kind of wobbling around 2-3 to three BPMs. And that's in a way the first problem that you're going to run into. The learn button right here, as with tap buttons and other softwares, is always very inaccurate. And I think that has to do with us humans just not being able to be accurate enough. Also, the second problem is that this fader right here is pretty core. So if I try to move it just a little bit, I can get it to change just one BPM. But if we go to back to Tractor, for example, it actually goes back to the second digit after the comma in terms of BPM. And also if I change this slightly, you can tell that I have much more fine grain control over the speed in here. And that's the first challenge that the plugin is using. That's the first feature of this plugin. You can just click on this macro and then set a master BPM. And it will set up the speed master to be just exactly what you entered, as you can see. So let's put it to 128 because we already know that's the right speed. Um, along with this feature comes these buttons right here. It's essentially the same thing, just slightly different. You can also change the speed master's BPM incrementally using these buttons and even going down to uh, the second, first, third, whatever you want, uh, digit after the comma. So you have a really fine grain control over the master tempo here and again this is the first step in beat matching that you're able to really control the playback speed of something on a very granular level. All right let's set this back to 128 and then let's take a look at our playback. So this chaser over here is on the beat so we should maybe try to have this bottom part of the chase show up right on the beat. So let's try and figure out where this is at. I think right now it's going a little ahead of the beat, so we're going to use the pitch down to slow down a bit. And now I think it's actually a little behind. Let's pitch it up. Alright, almost there, I can feel it, and I think now we again shot a bit across the target here. But this this should be pretty good. Um, also let's take a look at this pitch down, pitch up uh, macro so I can, I can actually show you how easy this plugin is to use. So all you do is set this command variable, then specify the BPMs of how much you want to pitch bend and then set a duration in seconds for how long you want the pitch bending to be. So again, if I press the pitch down button, you can tell that the master fader is going down for 5 ppms for just a little bit and then coming back up. And of course, if we go in here and then set it to 10 seconds, it's totally going to ruin our beat matching. And there's the bug. All right. So before this video ends, I'm going to fix that and then what you get in the download 
in the link description is the fully working plugin. And you can use that for whatever you like. Um, if you have any changes, any ideas on how to improve it, then just go ahead and send me pull requests on GitHub. If you don't know what that means, then don't worry about it. Just use the plugin and I hope you're happy with that. If you have any questions about this technique, please leave them in the comments or on Twitter at a guy named Jonas. And I have one big favor to ask you, which I don't think any YouTuber has asked you to do ever before. And that's please subscribe. There's a ton of more videos coming um, from where this is coming from right now. I have a few really, really cool ideas I wanna show you in the next few weeks. So if you wanna do me a big favor, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can stay tuned to what's coming up next. My name is Jones, by the way, and I'm really excited about this. I hope this is useful to you. Um, let me know on Twitter what you guys think. And also if you actually made use of this, you know, let me know what your, your real life experiences with this setup are. And then all that's left to say is that I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Bye bye.